When I left California in 1983, I traveled all over the world and explored different types of climbing. Come on, won competitions. Oh, wonderful stuff. And Lynn Hill takes the World Cup. But Yosemite was always in the back of my mind. In the early 90s, Lynn Hill returned to her stomping grounds in Yosemite with an audacious vision. I wanted to be the first person to make an all free ascent of the nose on El Capitan. Until now, every party that went up the nose, from Warren Harding to Jim Bridwell, had aid climbed the route, hanging on their gear to reach the top. A free ascent of the nose would mark the ultimate fulfillment of the free climbing revolution launched by the Stone Masters in the 70s. Free climbing the nose was a prize. All the most visionary climbers kept trying it and going after it. They wanted it. And here's Lynn, and she crushes it. Oh my God, El Cap can be free climbed. It was groundbreaking, earth shattering, and it was a woman. It goes, boys. <laughs> Lynn Hill's nose climb sent shockwaves around the world. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the best rock climber in the world, Lynn Hill. Hi. Hi. Nice to see you. Uh, uh, are you all right? No, no. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And was a catalyst for a new generation of climbers to make the pilgrimage to Yosemite.